Washington football fans, well, guess what? The football team drops to 2-6 and six after a loss against Denver yesterday. Honestly, this was a game that Washington should have won. It was a must-win football game for them to head into the bye with a little bit of positive momentum. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. There were just, again, there were some mistakes that were made. I felt the defense, though, I felt that at times that they played much better. Certainly, Chase Young made that great play at the end of the game to extend the game to give the Washington football team another chance at tying up the football game. But, of course, you know, we could not capitalize. Taylor Haneke, he's not... I know that there's a lot of Haneke fans out there. I understand that. I love the guy. He's had a great story. Unfortunately, Taylor Haneke is just... He keeps proving that he is not a franchise quarterback. I Honestly, I dare to say if he's going to... You know, if you would consider him a starter in the league. I mean, he makes some good plays. He really does. But at the same time, he is not consistent. I mean, this could be things that are worked out later on. You know, more playing time. I mean, yeah, yeah. The guy's only played in, what, eight or nine games. So you do have to cut him some slack. But at the same time, Ron Rivera does not have time to develop this guy. And we, we just don't know if this guy is actually somebody who, you know, just not been given the, the proper chance for one reason or the other, that he is actually going to be in a, you know, one of the top quarterbacks in the league. I seriously doubt it. Like I said, Ron just does not have time. He's going to need to go out and find a franchise quarterback next year. I mean, this is why that he drafted or drafted. This is why he signed, uh, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick because you know Fitzpatrick was going to be that bridge quarterback until that we were able to find the quarterback of our future. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, Fitzpatrick went down in that first game. You know, that that's just how it goes. So, but I will say at this point, you're two and six. You still got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to, to play in a couple of weeks. You're probably not going to win that football game. You're going to be two and seven. And honestly, once you reach two and seven, you're pretty much sunk. And, you know, I, I think honestly, I think this season was probably doomed from the very beginning. I may have mentioned this in previous videos, but, you know, whenever that a football team doesn't play well in the preseason. You know, people always diminish the preseason as, well, they're not trying. You know, their offenses are, are vanilla. You know, they're they're not really, they're just looking at situational football. They're not really game planning that much. But people don't understand. I've seen it time and time again. A lot of that tends to creep into the uh, regular season. I've seen it with this team, you know. The defense didn't play that well in the preseason. They came out and they have been flat. They were really flat in the first several games. They're, they're finally starting to make a, some plays, but you almost feel like it's too little too late at this point. And same with, you know, the offense. They could not punch it in for a touchdown during the preseason. And then they have struggled in the regular season. You know, the, the points scored continues to drop, it seems like. You know, last week it was seven points. This week it was ten. Could have been more. Could have been much more last week. But the offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. You know, honestly, it is very frustrating as a, what I consider a super fan myself. Now, I don't, I don't get to go out to games. I don't, you know, dress up for games and all that stuff when I do get to go. And you often, if I do get to see the football team in person, it's usually because they're playing the Panthers. You know, I, I live in North Carolina, so the Panthers are a little bit closer to me. Well, they're a lot closer to me than, than what the, uh, the Washington football team is. But I consider myself a super fan. I've been a fan since 81. I've been a very loyal fan. But I tell you, with all the stuff surrounding this franchise, with the way the product is on the field, it really tests your fandom. And 
I've seen a lot of what I consider very hardcore fans just crack and say, enough, I can't, you know, I can't follow this team anymore. I'm not one of those, but I've become so apathetic, I think, to <laughs> just how things are right now. I'm just like, you know, um, I do expect better from a Ron Rivera coach team. Um, I do expect better from a defense that's got a lot of number one, you know, first round draft picks on it. Um, I, you know, I did expect a little bit more from the offense, but just I do realize the offense does have some excuses. You know, they don't have their starting quarterback in there. The offensive line has been injured. Um, Antonio Gibson has had some injuries. You know, we have had our number one tight end, Logan Thomas, has been out for several games. So, I mean, there, there's been reason. Uh, you know, we have not hardly even seen Curtis Samuel this year. So, I mean, you know, certainly the offense have had its reasons. Still, it's just, it's very frustrating as a fan. And I'm sure a lot of you fans are, who are sitting here watching this video would say the same thing. Um, You know, as far as the game to kickers, I know that there's YouTube uh, fans out there who have said they were glad uh, to see Dustin Hopkins get cut. Honestly, you know, if you weren't going to cut Dustin Hopkins in the offseason, you should have just kept him for the entire season, the way I, I see it. Because Chris Blewett is just, he was not an upgrade. I mean, if anything, that that guy, just he doesn't belong in the NFL. I mean, he's already had, what, three of his four field goal, uh, field goal attempts blocked. I mean, it's unheard of. You know, in two games. I, I really think that we should hear about Chris Blewett getting cut today. And if not, sometime this week, we need to have another kicker in here pronto because it's just it's not going to help us out one bit. I mean, this guy is just not. I would rather, I would much rather have Do Dustin Hopkins back, honestly, than I would this guy. I mean, you know, Hopkins, I realized, yeah, he was missing some field goals, but I felt he was still more dependable than this Chris Blewett guy. So, you know, I expect to hear that he's going to get released. Um, You know, I'm not going to go through all these points of the game. Obviously, most of you guys uh, got to watch the game. Um, <clears throat> I got to watch most of it. I did take some time to take my son out trick-or-treating. There was a Halloween party next door, so, you know, I felt I was going to end the night on some some sort of good night, you know, um, good positive note. Normally, though, uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, I am going to sit there and watch every single play of the game. But, you know, family does come first. Uh, I did watch, you know, the the um, highlights of some of the, the things that I missed. Um I would just leave it as saying, you know, folks, let, let's just realize that the rest of the season is going to be a bumpy ride. Hopefully, you know, within this next week or so, some of our players who have not had a chance to play have been hurt. Uh, we'll heal up. Uh, we'll get their opportunity to get back on the field against the Buccaneers. We're going to need our best guys on the field if we even – think that we're going to have a chance of beating the Buccaneers. I can tell you right now, it's probably not going to happen. You know, even if we have all of our best guys on the field, you know, the Buccaneers, even though they didn't look that great, I mean, they lost against the Saints uh, with Trevor Simeon starting at quarterback. Well, not starting, but, you know, replacing um, Jameis Winston, who honestly, that injury looked awful. Um you know, I hope it's not as, as serious as what it looked, but it definitely doesn't look like a, you know, injury that's just going to keep him off the field for a week or two. I, I think, I've, I'm fearing that could be like an ACL. But, um, you know, even still, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know, at least we're not playing them next week. Because that is when you're going to really be like, oh, no. <laughs> you know, because, 
you know, Tom Brady loses in a week, which is very rare, he's not going to lose the next week. And so, yeah, we do get a reprieve. We do get them in a couple of weeks after a bye, but you know, don't, don't have high hopes on that. <laughs> Honestly, don't. Anyway, um, I guess this video is a downer, but guess what? It's Monday. I have the, the Mondays, the case of the Mondays. So, um, you folks have a great day. Try to have a great Monday if you can. Um, please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you can. Let me know in the comments section certainly what you thought about the game. What do you think we should do for the rest of the season? Honestly, at this point, we do need to start talking about the rest of, of this season. Uh, I mean, we're we're halfway, yeah, but you're two and six. Even if you turn around, you make it six and two or seven and two. I mean, that would be great. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I really don't. Anyway, we will chat with you <clears throat> in the next video.